we're stuck and can't go any further. Could you please move? Are you kidding me? Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon. So I just found a target with my metal detector, but before we dig it up, I just wanna tell you what I'm doing today. So I've been watching my old videos and I realized how much I've changed over the last five, six, seven years. Obviously I'm getting older, I'm starting to grow gray hair, I'm actually starting to lose hair. But what I'm talking about is the videos specifically. Back when I made those older videos, there was no expectations to find gold or focus too much on how many views they got. It was just so much simpler. And I feel like over time, I've kind of fell into that YouTube groove where now it's like everything must be big and elaborate and exciting. I still like doing that, but today, I'm just gonna focus on my roots and just do a simple video and upload this video no matter what I find. So today I'm using something a little more advanced to the last detector I used here years ago. This is a GPX 6000, which technically is not mine. I actually borrowed it from mine lab to see how I like it. And I probably will have to return it soon enough. I am trying a brand new coil today that should punch a bit deeper and can actually go in the water, but the water is a little too high to try that. So let's find out what this first target is. Now I don't have my headphones today, so I don't know if you could hear this. It's a faint signal. It could be gold, could be lead, or could be wire, but I have found a lot of gold here in the past. Mind you, somebody has come here and really worked this area, obviously. It wasn't this open before. It used to just be tree roots and boulders, but anyways. It's all bedrock that's breaking up, and gold likes to sit in that bedrock. It actually sounds pretty good. I'm not getting my hopes up because we just got here. We don't normally find gold on our first Let's try. That's making a really weird sound. Gosh, this is annoying. Sort of why people give up metal detecting so easily. They either just consistently dig up garbage or they don't know how to run the machine or they can't find the target or they're just impatient, but I brought nothing but my gold pan and detectors, so hopefully we'll find something. Well, I'm not hearing the target anymore, and I have a bunch of material, so hopefully the target's in here. So our target was a piece of lead, which isn't really bad. It's a good thing because gold and lead sound exactly the same, and I've obviously never detected this piece before, so this coil, hopefully, will find us a million ounces. I actually brought this pill bottle because I expect to fill it up by the end of the day. So I don't really have any expectations today. I feel good just revisiting a spot after six years and maybe I missed some gold. All right, I have another target in here, but I'm not feeling too hopeful because it's really loud and it's not on bedrock or nothing. So I'm assuming it's gonna be wire or nail or whatever, but I'm digging every target today because the more garbage you take out, the less garbage you're gonna find later. Plus, one of those pieces of garbage could be like an old artifact or, or even a piece of gold. It's right there somewhere. I'm willing to bet money it's gonna be a piece of wire. Something rusty and not colored in yellow. River gravel, that means we are closer to the bedrock, which is a excellent sign. So it's maxing out. So it's gonna be really metal, if that's a word. See, yeah, that's river gravel. If that was bedrock, I'd actually start to get really excited, but I don't wanna damage any roots. Any material that I dig out from here, I'm gonna just put back. You guys aren't gonna believe this. A nail, or a piece of a nail. No way. That's one nail I will never find again. I got another signal right in here, but uh, the position is really weird to film, so I'm just gonna try holding the camera and do it. I wish I brought a scoop, but I did not. Uh, Here-ish. Ah. And gold, lead, or anything metal is really hard to pick up once it's wet, so. I don't have high hopes, but I'll do what I can. Oh, it sounds so good. I hope it's not a rusty nail and I cut my hand because I don't have my updated tetanus shot, unfortunately. 
So I just tried making a little stream here to kind of try to get all the water out, but I think I made it worse. And I do have gloves, but they're in my pocket. All right, we got it in the pan. Let's go pan it out. I actually did not expect that to be our first piece of gold. It's actually quite rusty, which could mean it's near a nail or it grew up like that, I don't know. Now let's see if we can find more. What I do like about this area is there's a lot of big, heavy, dense rocks. The river does a good job organizing the heavy stuff from the light stuff. So if you stick around heavy rocks, there's a good chance you're gonna find other heavy things as well, like gold, lead, or even nails, or even Lamborghinis. Have another target right here. Again, super loud, but it's also in the same area. I just found that piece of gold, so there's a good chance there could be a Lamborghini here. All right, it's in the pan. So as you can see, our target was a little piece of rust, but we did pick up a tiny piece of gold with it, so we are in the good area. Okay, so I've been walking around detecting for a while now and I walked upstream to a place where I found gold before I think my last metal detecting video. However, since that video, a lot of other people have obviously been here before. There's holes everywhere, boulders moved out of the way. Because I see more bedrock than I did last time, I think this will be a good bet to try out. There's also a lot more water here than there was last time. So I'm really just limited to the banks, which is kind of where I was going anyway. It does sound good. I've looked in this area before and have found gold, but this was years ago. I like to think I've gotten a little better since then. What the heck? Please be a wire or a nail or a piece of lead. I do not want to find gold today. Let's try some reverse psychology. So this could be a good sign now that I have to actually dig through the bedrock because the only other thing that will be in bedrock is jammed pieces of gold. I've actually found pieces of gold stuck to the side of the bedrock before. So I do like to check. All right, it is in the pan. Come on, where are you? Oh. We got it. Okay, it's in this tiny pile. Oh, is that it? Literally a flake of rust. That's how sensitive this thing is. We'll take it. So it's been about 40 years and I have two signals. I have one nice sounding one and one that's just maxing out the volume on the detector. So one could be good, one could be bad, both could be good, both could be bad. That's why we're here to find out. So here's target number one right here. Could be a flake of rust. And then target number two is right under this rock. I can't even get near it. There's loose bedrock, which is good. So what I'm gonna do is literally just take handfuls and then run it over the coil rather than just dig everything up and put it in a pan to see if that saves any time. I need to hold my phone away from the coil. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Uh, all right, now it's just too loud but I made a commitment to dig every single target I can. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We have our second piece of gold. See, I wanted to find lead, but we found gold. Nice. I don't know if that's bigger than our, our last guy. A little fat. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, now you can join your friends. So funny story, I moved this rock and this entire rock fell on our target. We still might be able to like try to dig some of it out, but that's the least of our concerns. It literally almost landed on me. I'm not gonna do that again. All right, after digging all that out, I found our target. Some rusty conglomerate. It was heavy when I scanned it over this thing. Thought it was gold, but not gold. Another target right there. It's probably gonna be the same exact thing. Piece of rust, or if we're super lucky, Gold rust. I like right here how it's bedrock and there's a little crevice right there, so. Oh 
big piece of bedrock right there. Hopefully that got it. So I believe this was our target. Another, another piece of lead. A piece of lead, baby. I don't like doing promotions. That's the last thing I should probably say before I do a promotion. But this actually helps me make more videos for you guys. So I've decided to abandon Patreon. So what I decided to do was stick to YouTube and just create memberships for you guys to join so you guys can get daily updates, behind the scene footage, early release videos. And what I'm also including is an opportunity for you guys to actually chat with me so I can hear your thoughts and hear your voice. Making content, making videos, it's not always easy. You know, it takes some creativity so maybe you can be a part of the next video on this channel. No hard feelings if you don't want to support in that way, but it's available for you guys if you want. Okay, so time is going by. It's already starting to get a little dark, but I'm not giving up yet because this is what we found so far. We got a chunky piece of rusty conglomerate, a piece of a nail. I even found a button. Well, I think it's a button, not sure. A piece of wire, two lead shots, and two pieces of gold. These are actually nice pieces of gold too. They're not that thin. Not super big, but you can sure pick them up. I'm gonna keep detecting till the battery dies, and sometimes at the very end of the day, when you, you almost can't see anymore, that's when you find some good gold. Or at least it's a dream I have, and maybe one day, like today, it could come true. Okay, it's getting dark. Finally got another target in here that sounds good. Could be lead. I'm guessing it's lead. Have a listen. pretty loud, but I do like how the material is on bedrock and it's relatively packed. Oh, that's way better. Turn on the old flashlight. All right, I'm guessing it's wire. So much wire today. So I moved it into here. Oh. Thought that was it. That's just a piece of quartz or something. Just as I permitted, a flake of rust. There's a lot of that around here too. It's dark, flashlight is on my phone and I'm done. So let's go home, see what we got up close. So here's some of the stuff we found detecting. There was more trash in here, but I somehow lost most of it on the way out. We have this beautiful chunky piece of metal. I'm sure if I soak it in Coca-Cola, I could reveal what it is, but I don't really care. We have this old square nail, I think. It used to be square, but now it's roundish. And also wire. Now in the 1930s, they used a lot of cables to winch rocks and do some dredging. So when that cable sits there for a long time, it breaks apart, leaving a bunch of these little wires. So finding these things are unavoidable. We also have a button. I actually found two buttons. One of them I lost and this one I got to rescue. We also have some lead and of course two nuggets. Kind of just goes to show how much garbage you got to dig up to find gold sometimes. Both of these pieces are pretty chunky. They're almost the exact same size which I like. So we'll have the weight in a second but I want to show you the biggest piece of gold that I found detecting so far. This is 7.5 grams and I found it probably four years ago. There's still time to beat it. Okay, let's weigh everything. Starting with the smaller nugget, I'm gonna say 0 0.41. 0 0.3, <laughs> I tried really hard to be accurate. Okay, the bigger one of the two, obviously more than that, so nine ounces. 0.46, all together, just shy of a gram, 0.75. Now the gold goes into the November, oh, the gold goes into the November bag to get weighed at the end of the year. Thanks for watching.